we will have full functioning electricity and water to the barn tonight. So we have water! Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So we have the back door finally open because the rain is stopping, the tropical storm's over. But we have a big day in the barn today because as you guys know, we are closing in on our project. We have bigger projects to do today, like the electric and plumbing. So we are going to tackle those today and a bunch of other things. So we have help today. So we're trying to get most of these big projects done today and then hopefully, which I feel like I say this all the time, hopefully this week we'll be able to wrap up everything that needs to be done to get the horses in because today the big goal is to get the electric done, plumbing done, and then other extras that we have to do. So this should be a pretty big barn update. So if you guys are excited for today's video, then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to make a post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's just get right into working. Y'all, look at this cute little blower that I got today. So we did have this one, and it's been having some troubles, but it's a gas blower. So it's kind of heavy anyways, and it's pretty loud. So I got this little guy. And I'm so happy about it because I can blow out the barn when we are fully using it and it's really quiet. So that's even on like the max speed. So I've been blowing out the alleyway. And this is what I'll use to continue blowing out the alleyway because as soon as I finish blowing out the alleyway and cleaning all the mess out, we are going to put the rubber floor mats that we have to go in the middle of the alleyway but yeah i just thought this thing was so cute so i had to have it <laughs> so they started running the plumbing and if you see right there that is coming out of the ground is going to connect over here to our well pump and then this goes underground as you can see where all the rock is and then it's going all the way underground and then we just put rock over it all and then right here it comes back up and will go into the barn into that tiny little cut hole and then we will have plumbing running into the barn. So as you can see, where all the rock is, just goes underground and then into the barn. So you don't even see it and it'll be pretty incognito into the barn. So he's just cutting this off and then that's gonna fit right into the barn. Just widen it just a hair. There we go. Looks good to me. All right, you guys. So there it is. This is the start of all the plumbing into the barn. And this will route into the barn into every stall so that there's a nozzle into every stall to turn water on. So now we're back into the barn and this is what it looks like on the first side. And it's basically the same thing, adding a 90 foot one upward. And there it is, and then we'll just silicone where you guys see the light coming in so that we don't have any moisture coming in through there. And then the pipe will just go all the way up and into the stall. Now, Mike's adding this little nozzle, which will be our shut off. And this will shut all the water off in the barn off of just one switch, just in case anything goes awry. No water? Water. Perfect. This is our supply line coming in. So if anything breaks over there, kill that, no water. That'll do it. So here's the shut off and then comes all the way up there, 90s, and then it's gonna go all the way across. It's focusing on the bars, but back into there, and then it'll come down here where our water bucket is. Okay, so there we have the 90, it goes all the way across. And then T's here goes down behind the wood and then there is the spigot and then there's where we're putting the water bucket and why it's right there is because we want the plumbing as far away from the horses technically so they don't have anything to mess with. That's why we have 
it going behind the wall and then we really don't want them to be able to mess with this nozzle so then we'll attach a little hose type thing that will just go directly into the bucket and then now as you can see it's all ran across we're just going to continue to do that they've got the pipe starting there it'll go all the way across to fill all the stalls and then up and then into these two stalls and also for our wash rack over there but it looks really clean so i'm super happy about that and it's super effective how it's gonna work and i really like how it's coming out this is kind of how i pictured it and this is why we put the water buckets on the back i know a ton of you guys in my last video were telling me to do two water buckets and such which this is fine we still have the opportunity if we need two water buckets in my last barn we never needed two water buckets because we fill often but this will be perfectly fine and easy and we don't mind walking into the stalls and filling up buckets so we have this fan up this fan up and then if you guys can see right there and then that fan is up the only fan we're missing is the one all the way at the end we still have to do some plumbing over there so we're just leaving that one not up just yet but this is what it looks like with the fan so it looks really good it's at a really good height it's not by the food buckets or the water buckets it's perfect all right you guys so as you guys have seen for so long We've been able to use our top lights, but they were ran off extension cords. So now all the electric is getting hooked up. So it's running back there. So as you can see, it's just getting ran all the way across. So it's going over here. We've got a bunch of outlet boxes happening right above the fans. So as you can see, there's the outlet box right up there. And this is where the fan will plug into. And then it's getting ran over there. And then there's also an outlet box over there for that fan. So moving over here to this side. Um, our plumbing is running all the way to here. So finally we have the three stalls with the water spigot. So here's the second stall and then that stall over there. All right, you guys, so in the tack room, and we finally have an outlet so the electricity is going to be working in here very soon then we have this over here and this is a dimmer this is going to be for our lights they're not in yet but they will be and then we have another outlet right there so i'm super excited nothing's live yet but it will be hi kitty the kittens are doing so good you guys they are growing they have learned to purr and this one loves to hang out up in the saddle. Hi, kitty. You love sleeping up here? You love sleeping on the saddle? Guys, they're so cute. Little purry baby. What are you doing up there? You hanging out? They climb the saddle pads up onto the saddle and sleep here. You're so sweet. What are you doing? What are you doing? You playing with the saddle? Who's a good kitty? And these are the switches for our barn. Obviously, nothing's connected just yet, but it's about to be. But this is going to be the main one for the light. And then we have two more, and these are going to be for the fans. So this would be like the left side of the barn fans, and then the right side of the barn fans. I don't really know which one actually either is right this second, but I just know it's lights, fan, fan, and that will control the barn. How are you guys? So as you can see it's pitch black out. We only have this light right here because this one's connected to an outlet. Um, these lights up here are not connected right now but what this means is that the electric actually works. So the electricity works. So all of our fans if you guys can hear the noise they are rumbling. They are working and this is all electricity. So as you can see they're blowing. We're moving a lot of air in here, so this is all the fans. This is working, so now we still have to just plug these in. But I want to just show you guys. I'm in the tack room, you guys. So as you guys can see, the lighting is a bit different now in the tack room because this is going to be our light. So this is our can light, and this goes off of our little dimmer. So if we see, it's getting dim in here. So this is purely electricity look at that so super dim light 
And now I'll brighten it up. This is off. That looks weird, but, and this is on. And now our window unit is no longer being ran through extension cord. Check this out. This is what we put um, this outlet right here. And I just gotta tack this up at some point here. But the AC unit is working off the electricity, you guys. This is so surreal. So here's our breaker box. They are strategically doing everything right now. So we actually have lights, oh my gosh. We've had extension cords out of this room for so long. And finally, we don't. The outlet is up there, I know you guys can't see, but moment of truth, it works. Yay, we have light. And then you can see the fans now because there's light. And look at these going, oh my gosh, we put out so much air. So as you guys can see, I don't even know what speed they're on, but there is like three speeds, but it's blowing my hair. And I'm sure you guys can hear the noise, but it's like chilly in this stall. It really is, even though it is night time, but it's pretty cold. So I imagine the horse is standing here and I'm pretty far away and obviously the horse is going to be a lot taller and a lot bigger and closer to it. So they are working. So I've been cleaning out the stalls with my new little blower and then I've also been running the magnet in them. And I wanna show you all the magnet and just look how much metal we have picked up from the alleyway and the stalls. So the magnet's working. We're clearing all the stalls out and making sure that they're safe for the horses. So as you can see, I've been cleaning them all. They all look nice and clear. The electric works, and now Mike is just up there, and they're just finishing the water system that we have going on. So we will have full functioning electricity and water to the barn tonight. Finally, all of the plumbing is done, and we have water through it all out the barn. So as you guys can see, I'm going to show you kind of where it all goes. It goes across there. So it goes all the way across there, back there. So we'll get a little closer look. Back here, up across here. It goes up there and then you guys can't see but it goes above the garage door. Back, flows over here onto this side and then all the way back here for these stalls. Across here and then to our last down here. And there's the water. Okay, so this is our shut off valve. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now we have, this is where the water is gonna come out of and this is where our bucket's gonna be. So as you guys can see, it's kind of far. We put this up here so that the horses don't really mess with the plumbing. But we're just gonna get um, a little garden hose piece and it'll basically just flow right into here. So it's gonna be no big deal. But I wanna show you guys the moment of truth for the water coming out into the bucket. So I'm just gonna bring my bucket up high. We're gonna turn on the water. At least doesn't get everywhere, but it probably will. Okay. And we have water! Okay, that was really wet. So as you can see, we have water, there's water working. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for today's vlog. We've been in this barn literally all day. It is 10.30, we started at like 9 a.m. So we have been in here for so long, but we got two major things done in the barn, which obviously are huge projects, and that was one, the electric. The barn is completely filled with electric, if that makes sense. So all of our lights are all hooked up to the electric now, all of the fans, so everything works through the electric, it's finally hooked up, super excited. And then all of our water is hooked up, but I guess not all of it because we still are gonna run some other things for like the fire, um, the fire hydrant things that will eventually go on there. But for now though, we can fill up water buckets and use the water to every stall, so that is awesome. So those are done, and you guys, you know what that means. Those are pretty much the biggest things to get the horses in here, so now what's left is just cosmetic things, and not really much functional things besides the windows, but that's a different project. But as far as for getting the horses in here, we are going to be able to probably get them in here. If not this week, definitely next week, you guys. So make sure that you guys, if you have been watching this journey for so long, don't quit watching because we are about to 
get to where we can put these horses in. It's very close, you guys. We are so close to being there. Realistically, we can have them in technically if we wanted to tomorrow. We have a couple things, though, that we need to take care of and get the barn cleaned up, and then we will bring the horses in here. So I promise you guys, you need to make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't miss any of these because it's coming really soon. So if you guys like today's video and are super excited that we get finally got our electric done and our water done, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because it's almost time for the horses to go in. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to make a post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to, are you guys? I love you and I'll see you in the next one.